Hello everyone, I am Tbro13 with the Separatist Crisis Mod Team, and here is a guide to preparing and importing your assets into your Bannerlord module. Firstly, after you've finished your model, you will need to generate your LODs using the Decimate modifier in Blender. The values you need to set the ratio to for each LOD is shown below. After you have generated your LODs, you will need to export your rig and all of your LOD models as an FBX file. Make sure you select the Selected Objects option under the Include section and deselect the Add Leaf Bones option under the Armature section. Also make sure to name your model within Blender appropriately using lowercase letters and underscores for spaces. Make sure you name your LODs as I have too, otherwise Bannerlord will not detect your LODs properly. Now that your model is ready, it's time to set up your textures. If you are using Substance Painter, use this output template I've made so that you can export the necessary texture maps. Also, if you are using multiple texture sets, make sure to set your padding to dilation plus default background color. This next step is only required if you used multiple texture sets within Substance Painter. First, you will have to add all of your maps to Photoshop. Secondly, you're going to rasterize your layers and group your textures based on what kind of texture they are. Next, hide all of the groups except for the base color. Then, click on the corresponding texture for each type of map in the Layers window, in this case the Aluminum Textures, and hover your mouse over the map in the viewport and press the Delete key. This will allow you to combine multiple texture sets into one texture. Finally, you will save all of your merged maps. You will have to name them with the correct suffix for the mod tools to automatically detect the textures. Base color will end with an underscore D, normal map will end with an underscore N, and your height map will end with an underscore H. The other maps do not matter right now, they will be used to make your specular map. Now that your other textures are set up, the last step is to create your specular map. This map will require your metallic map, ambient inclusion map, and roughness maps. You will once again rasterize all of your layers, and then select the roughness map and press Ctrl I. This will convert your roughness map to a glossiness map. Next, you will set your metallic map to the red channel, your ambient occlusion map to the blue channel, and your glossiness map to the green channel. Once you do that, save your specular map with the suffix underscore s. Now, you have to move all of the required files to your module's asset sources folder. You will need to move your FBX with all of your LODs and rig, as well as your diffuse, height, normal, and specular maps. Locate your module's assets folder and press the button with the refresh symbol if you are updating existing files or if you are importing new files, press the button with the plus sign symbol. Now, you have to assign your maps to a material. You can create a new material by right-clicking, selecting New, then Material. To add your materials, 
Simply drop one of your maps to the corresponding slot and the rest of the textures will autofill. Make sure you also select Use Specular in the Material Shader Flags. Finally, all you have to do is assign your newly created material to each of the LODs. Make sure to press the Save button after assigning the texture, otherwise you'll have to reassign the material. And this concludes my tutorial on setting up and importing 3D assets into your Bandalord module. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask them in the comments and I will try to clarify. Also, make sure to subscribe and join us on Discord to receive updates on progress with the mod.